The following presentation of the Daily Mass is made possible by your generous donations to Catholic Television of San Antonio. The Archdiocese of San Antonio and CTSA invite you to join us in celebrating these sacred mysteries, listening to God's word and partaking of spiritual communion. Welcome to the Daily Mass. We are gathered today in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. This sort of middle weekend in July was a kid used to be really depressing for me because it meant that summer was almost over and I had to go back to school. Now I get all excited because I get the kids back in school and school isn't as quiet as it is now. It's sort of like a ghost town, even with all the work we're doing, without all the wonderful, all the wonderful noise of very young people. But today we celebrate the feast of St. Bonaventure, a doctor of the church. A Franciscan died in 1274, I think, somewhere around there, late 13th century. He was the general, the head of the OFMs for, I don't know, 15, 20 years, made a huge difference in the world, did a lot of writing, um, did a lot of biblical commentaries. If you ever study scripture and the history of scripture studies, you, you would most definitely study him. You know, so one of those people that has made a significant contribution to who we are today. So as we celebrate him today, we pause. And as he always called his people, and as God always calls us, we are called to reconciliation. So we open our hearts and we ask forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show each of us the way to your Father's house. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through your cross, you have shattered the chains of sin and death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of Bishop St. Bonaventure, we we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the order of his charity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob gave his sons this charge. Since I'm about to be taken to my people, bury me with my fathers in the cave that lies in the field of Ephron the Hittite, the cave in the field of Machpelah, facing on Mamre in the land of Canaan, the field that Abraham bought from Ephron the Hittite for a burial ground. There, Abraham and his wife Sarah are buried, and so are Isaac and his wife Rebekah, and there too I buried Leah. The field and the cave in it that had been purchased from the Hittites. Now that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers became fearful and thought, Suppose Joseph has been nursing a grudge against us, and now he plans to pay us back in full for all the wrong we did him. So they approached Joseph and said, Before your father died, he gave us these instructions. 
You shall say to Joseph, Jacob begs you to forgive the criminal wrongdoings of your brothers who treated you so cruelly. Please, therefore, forgive the crime that we, the servants of your father's God, committed. When they spoke these words to him, Joseph broke into tears. Then his brothers proceeded to fling themselves down before him and said, Let us be your slaves. But Joseph replied to them, Have no fear. Can I take the place of God? Even though you meant harm to me, God meant it for good. To restore his present end, the survival of many people. Therefore, have no fear. I will provide for you and for your children. By thus speaking kindly to them, he reassured them. Joseph remained in Egypt together with his father's family. He lived 110 years. He saw Ephraim's children to the third generation, and the children of Manasseh's son Machir were also born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die. God will surely take care of you and lead you out of this land to the land that he promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then putting his, the sons of Israel under oath, he continued, When God thus takes care of you, you must bring my bones up with you from this place. Joseph died at the age of 110. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, God. be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Be glad, you holy ones. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If you're insulted before the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above their teacher, no slave above their master. It is enough for the disciple that he, come, that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like the master. If they have called the master of the house of Beelzebul, how much more those of his household. Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaimed on the housetops. 
and do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy, wow, and be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for one small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. And everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny him before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A little challenging today. And today we have the readings, we are a little less than here because the question came up beforehand. We have two choices for readings today. We have the one for the memorial and then the one for the day. Most of us, and I think most litur- liturgists would say to stick with the ones for the day because we've been telling a story. For over a week now we've been going through Genesis and as the story unfolds, then we get to the gospel today and we've been going through this sort of section of Matthew. So most of us just stick with the readings that we've been doing so those who go to Mass every day get that more complete story. And today it's important because in Genesis, I think the point to me that really sticks out the most is we have all these promises being made. And God is making these promises, and the people he's making them to are really, as one of my grandmothers, and I have northern European grandparents, but you go, that man here is such a schmuck. My grandma, why do you talk like that? He says, well, that, and she go, that's the way you say it. My, she, both my grandparents are from, were from New York City, so they had a very unique way sometimes of being colorful with how they talked about different things. And I think my grandmother would say about many of the people in the Old Testament, they were a bunch of schmucks. And you, know, you look at even David, who we, uh, we revere in what he did wrong. You look at all the things that have gone wrong, just in the last five days of readings, we get to this place and we can go, what was God thinking? Or we can realize in our humanness, no matter how far off we get, God can work through that to bring about the kingdom of God. From Abraham through Jesus through to today, God works through our human weakness and brings about the kingdom of God. We can go astray, We can do horrific things, and God works through that. But what Jesus is telling us today is the key is if we don't accept God, and I I love it when some of our products move, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And we, as good Catholics, we would say every moment of every day, where some people think it's that one-time experience. To me, today, the gospel is very clear that all the time we must be living as we accept that promise of eternal life from our God, then live in a way that we are worthy of that. And when we mess up, realize, yes, we can go through reconciliation, we can do all these other things, and we can be made whole. So as we look at what these readings have been as we've gone through these different stories, and we will continue to go through them, we can look at the humanness, but then we look at the majesty of God, that through all the humanness, God can make great and amazing things happen. And all it takes for us is to constantly work at our faith and to live that faith in all that we do. Raising our voices as one. We entrust to the Lord the needs of this community. For the church throughout the world, may God, God, may God guide each of us in seeking healing and reconciliation in times of difficulty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For leaders within the judicial system, may God provide them with wisdom and courage in balancing justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. 
For all who have endured the effects of domestic violence, may God provide healing and solace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people, may they respond with a yes when God calls them to serve the church as priests, deacons, and consecrated religious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community gathered today, may God empower us in building relationships of trust and encouragement with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the light of Christ, may God in his mercy grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we know that you hear and answer each of our prayers as offered today. Help us as we pray to be aware of your answers and have the courage to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of God, the same cause. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast of St. Bonaventure be pleasing to you, O Lord, for, he taught, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For this festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise is without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God who loved the human race and who has walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, Mike and Gary, as auxiliaries, with all bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and the entire people you have made your own. <coughs> Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened, Help us to serve them truly after the example of Christ and his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, remembering especially this day, Harry, and all who have died and whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, Martyrs, St. Pius X, St. Anthony de Padua, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now can dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer to another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe all that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already here, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with the living bread that this feast day of St. Bonaventure may be, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, summer draws to a close. Our Catholic schools have lots of room for all your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, I know at St. Pius, I won't let money get in the way, so if there's a financial issue, just let us know. You have to do that soon, because you have to apply for hope for the future, and then we'll help with the rest of what you guys can't do. Um, and also to our sponsors that make this possible, thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, proclaiming the good news with your lives. Please help this very important ministry to continue by sending a donation to Catholic Television of San Antonio, 2718 West Woodlawn, San Antonio, Texas, 78228, or contribute online at ctsa.tv.